Hey, what's happening gamers? This is Transformers Universe, a new MMO by the creators of RuneScape, featuring the Transformers. It is currently in open beta, so if you want to enlist, just click the link below. This is my impressions, even though I've been in closed beta, slash tutorial of how to play Transformers Universe, and I'm using and showing the brand new Transformer Anomaly, which is exclusive to the founders, or funders, or whatever you want to call them, which I am one. I am, I am one with the AllSpark. So, uh, in order to move your character around, all you have to do is use the letter keys. If you're wondering about how to transform, you simply press the T button. You can move around with the mouse and jump with the space bar. So, those of you who played RuneScape or other games like PC stuff, you'll be right at home with the controls. The number keys, 1, 2, and 3, are your main weapons, and 4, 5, and 6 are your modifications, special powers, whatever you want to call them. If you hold in the V button, you'll be able to bring up your abilities, as well as learn about the S text, which is done by pressing the wheel of the mouse, and sometimes I think the Q button, but I really don't know. You also have an energy shield that you can bring out with E, but I hardly ever use it. And of course, we have our friend Ironhide interrupting my little speech. So, um, what I'm doing right now is driving, you just move the mouse around and press the far right key in order to bring about your boost. So you can chase Decepticons, get away, all that fun stuff. Now what we need right now is Energon, so I'm gonna scan by pressing the 7 button. You can see my little Energon scanner going up. Looking for some Energon, which uh, while you're mining, which is a big thing in the missions or the crisis mode and things like that, is after I hit the F button here, the Terracons are going to pop out of the ground, those Transformer zombies, and they're not going to be happy at me for stealing Energon. we got a player right behind me. I'm just going to bring out my trusty axe here and layeth the smackdown on... Thanks so much for that, Cleric. Stole my kill. Not that it matters. It's really hard to level up on the world map anyway, or whatever they call this place. I've been in closed beta for a week or two now, and I still don't know what they call this dump. I prefer it as the Old West. Alright, now that we've collected our Energon, we need to deposit it. Now you're wondering, why do I need to deposit my Energon? Well, when you're playing player versus player matches, or PvP and PvE, you'll need Energon to resurrect yourself. You don't want to spend your relics, which is that gold icon up there in the far right, uh, because you'll need that in order to buy transformers, modifications, all kinds of stuff, so you don't want to waste that. Instead, you want to collect as much Energon as possible. Now, you get Energon from defeating enemies on the map, or you can just do the mining thing, which is easier. Just keep in mind that, again, when you mine, you are going to have to fight Transformer Zombies, being Terracons. Alright, so there's a hangar uplink where I can change my Autobot, and we have the deposit point, where you just press the F button. And I'm going to decline this friend invite, because I'm in the middle of talking. Sorry. I saw enough. Terracons back on Cybertron. That's interesting, considering in Transformers Prime, the Terracons didn't really come out until people went to Earth, and they were resurrected by Dark Energon, including Cliffjumper. We probably won't see Cliffjumper in this game, because since this is the Prime uh, universe, or franchise, or whatever, that would mean Cliffjumper is dead. But Prowl is in this game, so that makes me happy. Okay, so this is a big bruiser I've never seen before! in the beta, so he's new to the open beta, and um, what I'm trying to do is, you see that blue icon above his head? That is his shield, oh crap. And you have to whittle down his shield first, using either missiles or whatever type of shield attack you have. Uh, this character has kind of an energy rifle that's an omni attack, so it hurts both the red bar, meaning spark, and the blue bar, shield. But I'm actually going to lose. Now, um, one of my abilities, if you're wondering why I'm like hurting, uh, my enhancer, number four, damages me, but at the same time it increases my power significantly. Still, if you're low at health, it's going to drain you really fast, so it's best to just, yeah. And you can see I'm whittling down his shield bar. We got a friend coming. He's going to assist me, hopefully. Oh, Terracon! going to take him out with my axe. My axe! And I've got my cat who's trying to climb me. I'm, I'm trying to do the best I can during a hurricane right now, um, so I apologize that the game's a little skippy or whatever. Um, it's, it's pretty messed up, but I enjoy it. So that walking nightmare is still around. 
which is kind of bothering me. There I go using an S tech again. And you can see the uh, icons draining at the bottom there. There is some cooldown time, but uh, it's not too bad. And the only way that you can heal, other than being like a healer bot like myself, is when you're in robot form. Uh, as much as I can recall, you can't really heal when you're in vehicle mode. Maybe that's something they'll change when the game launches, I don't really know. But uh, you can get some really cool medals for being in vehicle mode. I usually get a lot of um, escape artist things, which really increase my rank overall and things like that. I'm trying to heal this guy, but he, he just won't stop. Alright, so my third thing is a healing ability. It's not as good as a Spark Strike, which is one of my favorite Autobots in this game. Especially when I'm playing with Amber or Mungri and some other people. Um, I like being the healer sometimes, but when I need to get down and dirty, I can see myself uh, taking a look at Anomaly. As he seems to be pretty strong, so yeah, there we go. Oh, this guy could use a pick-me-up. So could the guy behind me. And I, of course, used my enhancer or mod or whatever you want to call it. And I am taking some... S not too bad a damage, but not the best either. Usually when I play too, especially on the world map, I am more of like the solo Black Knight from like Sword Art Online. I I'm just not a team player until I actually have to get into a PvP. And then uh, I would suggest staying with your teammates as much as possible. Myself, um, I usually team up with Mungri. We're undefeated as a team, separately. He has a much better kill count than I do. Okay, here's a fun enemy. These are the Viacons, which are the only Decepticons that I know of that you fight on the world map. They're equipped with a flamethrower, uh, so if you have a character that can have a lot of resistance, like apparently Anomaly, then you're going to be good. Um, I believe Monsoon is a character most of you will be starting out with. He is a bulky character, kind of hulkish, but he's still pretty cool. There we go, using a heal modification. Trying to back me in a corner? I'm gonna pull out my axe, pal. And, uh, yeah. You can see our little Transformers pals here. How's it going? So, you can earn a little bit of relics here, but, uh, you mostly just want to be in PvP or PvE. And, uh, the Crisis Mode, um, from what I played today, is actually significantly harder than what was in closed beta. I got my butt kicked with uh, four other high Autobots. I think we had a level 13 with us, and uh, I didn't do very well. I barely made a level 9 today, so... But uh, if you guys are going to play this game, it's currently in open beta, and it this weekend only that I know of is uh, double XP weekend. So if you want to increase your Autobot and things like that, then you need to play this weekend. And uh, you might even end up on the live stream that uh, the developers are doing for this game, so... They've even challenged me on my phone, so maybe I'll hop on tomorrow and play, but... I'm having some issues with the hurricane right now, my internet's a little choppy, so... It's probably gonna kick me out of the game... Very soon. But I just wanted to show off how to play Transformers... And give you my impressions, so... I'm gonna jump into a PvP match and record that, and see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.